Hey everybody, Chad Leo here, host of Our Native Land through Czech Podcast Studios in Victoria, British Columbia. Uh, I am going to uh, just talk about something uh, fairly unrelated to the show, but uh, related to uh, my wife and her family and uh, the unfortunate loss of uh, her cousin uh, is being hard on uh, her family and uh, myself and, and everyone who knew uh, her cousin Tony. Uh, Tony was a broadcaster out of Edmonton. And uh, I just want to share a bit about him to uh, keep his memory uh, alive and well and um, make sure that he is, everybody knows he's not forgotten and we appreciate everything he's done and quite the inspiration for uh, such an amazing individual in the, um, in the broadcasting industry here in Canada. So I'm just going to read a bio about uh, Tony and uh, for those of you that are listening, watching the whole thing, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day uh, to listen. <laughs> Antonio uh, Tony Sorgiovanni has been in the radio industry for over 30 years. He started as a, as a backup announcer for his father, Leopoldo Sorgiovanni, for the Italian radio program on World FM. Back then it was CKER, uh, 1480 AM, out in Edmonton, Alberta. Throughout the years, Tony was doing the show more often and was quickly recognized as a passionate research for Italian music and entertaining radio personality. Tony exhibited his passion in his shows, and in 2019, under the new management of Rogers, he was given his own weekly hourly program called Espresso. It was around the time that Tony also took on the responsibility of being the World FM Promotions Coordinator. If there was a multicultural event in Edmonton, Tony was representing World FM. He organized prize giveaways, on-location spots, and even a singing contest called World Wonder. Think on a multicultural American Idol. Uh, that went on for five years. Tony's efforts in putting World FM on the map resulted in World FM winning Canadian Multicultural Station of the Year two years in a row. He was very, very proud of this. Shortly after this, Tony became the program director for all of World FM. He oversaw all 11 languages produced at World FM and was the glue that kept everything running smoothly. Whether it was training new producers on how to record their shows or using production magic to create new spots or programs out of thin air, Tony made sure that World FM Tony made sure that World FM continued to run. Tony made sure <coughs> that World FM continued to run like a well-oiled machine. He attended Canadian Music Week in Toronto and made a lasting impression on all broadcasters there. He literally put World FM on the map in Canada. Although Tony's time with World FM ended in 2019, his passion for radio did not diminish. He was still contacted months after he was no longer a World FM employee for help by producers, uh, promotions, and even Rogers executives. He was irreplaceable. He was irreplaceable in his love for the radio industry, and the broadcasting industry was unparalleled. So thank you for listening uh, to the family, friends, and fans of Tony Sordiovanni. Uh, we miss you lost again. Thank you for listening and watching. I appreciate it. And uh, much love from, from me and, and my family here. So thank you. <laughs>